Chris, Gia, the St. Paul Federation of Educators and St. Paul Public Schools, they were here at this mediation building all night. Negotiations even stretched into this morning. And just before 3 o'clock, we did see people start to leave the building. And soon after that, the union did confirm that no deal was reached. Educators have been asking for more staffing in areas of mental health, special needs, more multilingual staff. Well, this morning they tell us they presented a plan that would have made budgeting more flexible for the district by stretching out increased staffing over a three year period. Well, we just got a statement from the district saying that proposal would have forced the district to make cuts to programs. The superintendent, we're told, does plan to speak on camera at some point this morning, but no exact time is confirmed just yet. In the meantime, let's send it over to Ellery McArdle. She's also in St. Paul talking about the huge impact on families. Ellery. Yeah, absolutely, Kaya. You know, a lot of parents wondering what they're going to do with their kids now that classes are canceled. So right now I'm outside of Como Elementary, where at 7 o'clock this morning we're going to hear from the teachers union for the first time since this strike began. And we're going to hear from them likely about why they're going on strike and what's happening moving forward. Then from 7 to 11 a.m., all teachers will be picketing at all St. Paul Public Schools. Now, as far as the impact on students, I want to go over some of the things that will be impacted. St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter says the district will provide breakfast, lunch and snacks for students at some schools, libraries and rec centers. Varsity athletics will continue during the strike on a case by case basis, but all other sports are postponed. Libraries will have programs for students. Some rec centers will now open early, and if this strike goes into Thursday, kids space sites will be open for students K through 5. Again, those are just some of the many programs that are impacted here throughout this strike. So if you go to care11.com. We've got a great link there that will tell you a lot more information about what's happening, what's not happening during this strike. But again, here at Como Elementary at 7 o'clock this morning, that's when we're going to get our first big update from the uh, teachers union. Back to you. Yeah, Ellery, we'll be checking back with you and Kaya all morning long. Of course, very important information for some of the folks out in St. Paul today.